Yo, okay, hey, okay, okay. Hey. What I made today, okay, bitch, okay. I'm from the south. Yo, Tell a nigga, hey. bitch, come run my face. Like, Lock straight to your crib. Just yeah, like Chucky, bitch, come out of play. Bitch, come out of play. Yo, bitch, come out of play. Hey. Hey. 5K, 10K, hey. hey. what I made today, hey. bitch, I'm from the south. Hey. Tell a nigga, hey. bitch, come run my face. Hey. Lock straight to your crib. Just yeah, like Chucky, bitch, come out of play. Yo, bitch, come out of play. Yo, bitch, come out of play. Hey. Demolition on these bitches, I'm gon' break her walls. I call myself Chuck, we eat these niggas like a What's up everybody, it's your boy Sir Splash, and today I have an epic matchup between two of the best ragers in comics. This has been kind of a sub request, I thought about this battle before, never followed through, but because someone mentioned it to me, I'm going to do it. Anyways, we're going to have Red Hulk from Marvel Comics versus someone that's not as well known, um, Atrocitus, the Red Lantern leader. From DC. So first, I'm gonna go over Red Hulk. Red Hulk is uh, actually General Ross, a longtime foe to the Hulk. He fucking hates the Hulk. Anyway, he hates him so much that eventually he cut a deal. I believe this was best highlighted in the. Uh, if you read the Omnibus by uh, Greg Pak, it's the Fall of the Hulks. I think that's what the Omnibus is called. Anyway, what happened in this story is one of the first issues is Hulk. Uh, Red Hulk, or actually Bolt, uh, Ross at the time, he went to the Intelligentsia, which is a league of highly intelligent villains, and told them, yo, I'll help you boys out if you help me have a way to beat the shit out of the Hulk. He's, he was sick of the Hulk because Thunderbolt Ross was just a human general. Anyway, they give him a version of... Of the power to become a Hulk. And he has free will changing into the Hulk. He, re he retains his mindset and intelligence during this change. And it's a little different when he becomes the Red Hulk. His powers actually are different than regular Hulks. And I'll kind of explain how. So later on when I do the categories. But anyway. Um, he has eventually become a hero. And as kind of a trade-off for being a hero, no one knows he is the one that's a hero. So he kind of, he's a, he's an asshole and he's arrogant, so it's kind of his punishment that no one knows he's a hero. So yeah, anyways, we're going to go over his strength. Now, when we look at Hulk, Hulk is wild, Red Hulk is wildly powerful. Um, he's been able to destroy comets and asteroids that are threats to Earth if they hit. Uh, he was able to smack the shit out of Thor. He's been able to smack a Watcher. He actually decked him with a punch. Uh, he's bested Hulk, which was a mixture of strength and skill. Uh, he's been able to rock Omega X, which is the Destroyer of Worlds. And he bullied the fuck out of Dot Green. Um, Speed-wise, he is capable of keeping up with Thor in combat, as well as regular pissed-off Hulk and Valkyrie, who is a highly trained Asgardian warrior. Uh, Durability-wise... Mjolnir, like taking hits from Mjolnir only gave him like a little boo-boo. He was fine after. Um, he was fine taking hits underwater from Namor. Even Na Namor's power is boosted underwater and he still was fine when Namor was giving it to him. He's been able to take optic blasts from a Phoenix Force powered Cyclops, which is stupidly durable of a feat. And then other Hulks have struggled to hurt him, including regular Hulk, She-Hulk, Red She-Hulk, and A-Bomb. Intelligence-wise, he has retained knowledge from his military days as a general, and he's very crafty, and when he originally encountered the Hulk, this was how he was getting around Hulk and beating Hulk, because he was just a smarter and better fighter. Um, Skill-wise, he has military combat training and is a very very adept brawler. Um, as Red Hulk, he doesn't necessarily use a bunch of military fighting styles but he does mix kind of almost like judo with regular hand-to-hand -hand combat kickboxing um hacks wise he has energy absorption but it is important to note that uh red hulk doesn't like to absorb energy all the time because it actually poses a threat to his health um so it does cap out uh he has a healing factor <clears throat> sorry hairball Basically, as I was saying, he can take uh, beatdowns, he can take impalement, he can take um, energy blasts, and heal right after. It's a pretty good healing factor. He has his super strength, which I've mentioned. 
He has thunderclaps where he claps his hand at a high velocity that can knock over even powerhouses and can dissipate tornadoes as well as hit foes that are in like mist shape. He can heat up. So when he gets mad, he actually doesn't really get stronger. What he does is he actually heats to where his heat radiates off of him and hurts people. And he's an absolute tank. Now, let's go over Red Lantern Atrocitus. Strength-wise, he's been able to casually bully Apollo, who has been compared to Superman in strength. He's also bullied the shit out of Martian Manhunter and Midnighter. And he did this at the same time. Like, he was looking around for something when he got to the Stormwatch base. And they're trying to take him down. And he was like, yo, piss off. <laughs> and then, uh, he's been able to smack his own core at the same time. The Red Lantern core turned on him. And he was not having it. He's beaten Guardians to death, who are the OGs of the Lanterns. And have created the likes of... The first lantern, the green lanterns. So yeah, he's he's taking them down. It was one of the most badass scenes too. One one of them, one of the guardians he had on the ground was like, dude, like I'm about to create a lantern. Forgot what issue is this, but he was basically like, I'm about to create a lantern that will be one of the greatest lanterns ever. Like, give me time to do it. Like, please spare me. And Atrocitus was like, look, bitch, I don't pity shit. I haven't pitied in centuries. You're begging him to the wrong one and just fucking punched his head off. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, Atrocitus is with the shits. But anyways, he's also been able to fodderize green and yellow lanterns simply because the red lanterns, especially Atrocitus, move different. Like, they are highly aggressive, highly powered by their anger. And his reason for being angry is very reasonable because... His sector was destroyed by Manhunter in Sector 666. Well played, DC. And uh, he had to watch his family and all his people die. And his hatred was so strong after this, his anger, that he became a Red Lantern. And his heart is replaced with the Red Lantern power. Which I find to be really interesting out of all the Lanterns. Uh, Speed-wise, sorry for the tangent. It's just not many people talk about Atrocitus, and he's, he's the GOAT. Uh, Speed-wise, he can evade laser fire casually and construct blasts. He can also evade Martian Manhunter, Apollo, other Red Lanterns, even when they coordinate attacks, Sinestro, Green Lanterns, including Kyle Rayner and Guy Gardner, and he can avoid Supergirl. Uh, Durability-wise, he has tanked blasts directly to the face, even when he was already hurt. Uh, Storm not Stormwatch was nothing more than a nuisance to him. His own core couldn't bring him down. And Volthoom, who is the first Lantern, didn't kill him when he hit him with a full-powered blast. Intelligence-wise, mm, he's usually just pissed off and looking to catch a fade. However, it is worth noting that he sees through the bullshit quite well. Um, it's kind of hard to, to fool Atrocitus. Like... He knew he had a scheming bitch named Bleeze on his team. He knew she was up to some shit. And he was like, yo, I know you're up to something. Just know I will fucking kill you if you try some smart shit, all right? So, yeah, he's he, he's pretty smart. Um, He kind of comes across as just a rager, but he does have some intelligence to him. Skill-wise, he's just a space brawler. Um, He's a bully ball expert, man. Like, he's going to bum rush you. He's going to take your ass down. Uh, he was a fighter even before he became a Red Lantern. He was highly tough, uh, pretty skilled, although his skill as an actual fighter is relatively unknown. Um, Hacks-wise, he I mean, he's a goddamn Red Lantern. Uh, he has napalm breath, and this shit is wildly powerful. His breath, um, like I said, when he matched up with Martian Manhunter in the Stormwatch, I think it was Volume 1 or 2 of Stormwatch, but he smacked the shit out of uh, Martian Manhunter with it and hurt him. He was also able to smack Guy Gardner even after Guy Gardner, I think it was Volume 3, became a Red Lantern. Uh, and he has actually torn space with the damn napalm breath. He was like, yo, there's a threat beyond space that is trying to, I think it was Abysmus. And he was like, yo, it's trying to murk us. It's going to come back and murk us because I beat his ass once. So he just tore the space with his stupid napalm breath. And, with, and actually, that's how he stumbled upon Stormwatch. If you don't know Stormwatch, uh, in, in Wildstorm, they went through the bleed. I don't remember. If it's actually still called the bleed in DC Comics. But it's basically in between space. There are hidden defenders. So yeah, that's how he stumbled upon them. Um, he also has blood magic, which he can use to make stuff like 
massive tornadoes. He has a healing factor. Um, he has strength. Extreme will. His will rivals Green Lanterns. I don't give a shit what you say. He has flight and he can teleport. He's actually, uh, he tell, it was kind of funny, uh, Guy Gardner, um, Supergirl, and Bleeze pulled up on him to jump his ass, and he was like, nope, and just teleported. That shit was funny. But, uh, okay, so, I had to explain Atrocitus more, because he's a little more complex than Red Hulk, and Red Hulk's more known. But now that we got that out of the way, let's look at what advantages they have. Now, for Red Hulk... I gave him the strength advantage. Uh, this is a slight advantage. Atrocitus is stronger than people give him credit for. Red Hulk's not as strong as regular Hulk, but still, the fact that he's been able to rock um, Thor and knock out the Watcher and fight characters created to destroy planets is quite impressive, so I give him a slight edge as far as consistent strength. Speed-wise, I give it to Atrocitus a little bit, uh, probably a mid-tier advantage. The fact that he can evade characters like Green Lanterns, Guy Gardner, um, Red Guy Gardner, he's been able to evade Martian Manhunter Apollo, and Supergirl is just better than any speed feat from Red Hulk. Um, although I do say, for the Hulks in general, they're usually shit on for speed, but travel speed doesn't matter. It matters what you can do in combat, and the Hulks can fight anyone in combat. Um, Intelligence-wise, I give a slight advantage to Red Hulk because of his military training and tactics. Skill-wise, again, Red Hulk slightly because we just know more about him as a combatant. And he he's he's a little more fluid as a fighter than uh, Atrocitus. Atrocitus is actually more like Hulk, where he just smashes shit out of people. Whereas Red Hulk does use some skill and maneuverability in combat. Hacks-wise, I gave a mid-advantage to Atrocitus because, like I said, I listed all the shit he could do because of his Red Lantern. So... Going over this, when these two monsters clash, who do I see winning? I think it's Atrocitus. Now, let me tell you why. First off, he already has the advantage of flight. Um, flight isn't a for sure win against a Hulk, obviously. You might just jump up and fucking pull you down. But it does help with uh, maneuvering around Hulk. He also has the speed advantage, which I take uh, very serious in versus matchups. But the problem is, when someone's fast, can they still take someone down? And with Atrocities, yes, he could take down Red Hulk. His constructs, he's one of the only Red Lanterns that's capable of constructs. He doesn't use them a lot, but when he does, they're purely offensive. And when he hits your ass with them, they put you down. Um, and Hulk will only piss him off. Like, Hulk doesn't, besides strength, he doesn't really have any hacks that will really help him against Atrocitus. Like, if he grabs Atrocitus and starts heating up... Atrocitus is going to hit his ass with Napalm Breath, which I don't necessarily see Hulk casually tanking. He also has his Blood Magic, which can manipulate uh, other characters, although I'm not going to factor this into Red Hulk. And we have seen him absorb anger, like to where anger actually, from other people, made him even stronger. He feeds off it. Um... So Red Hulk getting madder might actually power up Atrocitus even more. But even without that, I still see Atrocitus winning. Because he has more hacks, he's faster, he's almost as strong as Red Hulk. And he's going to keep coming for his ass. And the thing is, Red Hulk can absorb energy, but he doesn't like to and he can't do it much because it poses a threat to him. So yeah, in the end, I see Atrocitus taking this one 7 times out of 10. Now, let me know what you think. If you agree, comment down below. If you disagree, comment. Uh, please like, subscribe. My channel is growing. I want it to keep growing. But anyways, it's been your boy Sir Splash. Thank you, and y'all have a good day. Peace. It's Brittany, bitch.